Hi guys, welcome back. This is Gallifrey Customs with another video for you. And I just want to show you all very quickly that I've just got the new general retail version of the 14th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. Um, so I just wanted to show you the differences between this one and the online exclusive version um, and just sort of weigh up which one I think is better or not. So yeah, this is it. It's the exact same sculpt as the online exclusive version. Um, plastic wise, I think this is actually in a more sort of, I think because of this chrome finish, which is the main difference in both of them, this feels a bit more flimsier. If I bend that there, it's quite weak, whereas here, it's a bit less. Um, but I think that's just down to the nature of the plastic that's needed in order to do a chrome finish. Otherwise, they're both the same. They both make the same noises and lights with the different, um, but when different amount of times you press these buttons. Uh, the only other difference is that whereas on this one, you have a little button and you can change the colors on there. This one doesn't have that. This one has got like plastic covering it where it doesn't have that button anymore, which is a bit of a shame because I think it's a really nice feature, but then it would take away from the fact that this is a special online exclusive. But yeah, both fantastic. Um, being completely honest, I don't know if I've just done that. Being completely honest, I think I actually prefer this going by the look of the prop in the pictures. Um, I just got the recent Doctor Who magazine where uh, David Tennant has got the Sonic Screwdriver on the front cover. And actually, I think it does look closer to this silver than the other one. Um, they're both nice and they both sort of bring different things to the table. But yeah, I think as a prop, when it comes to cosplay, and I think I'd probably use this one instead of the other one. But yeah, that's everything really. There's nothing nothing else to show. Um, this is starting to appear in different retailers. Um, it seems to be just coming out in more and more places as time goes on. I think it's in Forbidden Planet, Sci-Fi Collector, Who Shop, um, and a couple of uh, US retailers, which is great. Um, so yeah, um, that is the comparison of the two. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all soon.